Hello everyone and welcome to episode 8 of the Lost Pickcraft and today we're starting off by designing a dripstone farm that's what we're going to be building over in the Pickcraft world hopefully it works well but it might take a long time here's the finished thing it does look pretty ugly but don't worry it will change when we build it because it will be built completely underground Back over on Pickcraft, it's time we got building this thing, so just outside where my base is I have made a nice little hole in my garden which we will put a building over the top I think to make it look nice And now we just got to dig out the massive room to put this thing in A lot of work later, we're almost done cleaning this place out and this is only the farm room We're gonna have like bits around the entire outside of it too. Skipping forward quite a bit, here we go. The main room is now completely open and there's a cobblestone floor and the hole in the middle where the ice blocks go and the water so the items that do drop can go flying over into a barrel slash chest. Here I'm just putting all the ice in now sadly when I was doing this we were having a bit of problem with someone where they stole from me and yeah they stole from me and then made me kind of mad because they did it like right in front of my face so they ended up getting banned pretty fast so that problem's out the way now so now we can focus back on the build Here I'm adding the next layer just above it so we can put water so the dripstone will actually grow because it will have water above it. And for those of you that don't know, on July 4th it was actually my birthday and Wolf B came on his Switch account to give me a cake. Now Wolf B was away at the time I think so the fact that he came on just to give me a cake was very kind of him and thank you for that Wolfby. On top of that, Beef gave me a Neverstar. That is just amazing. We will use this to make a beacon of course and we're going to use the beacon to get haste so we can mine faster when we're digging out a massive place underground. And also I want to thank you all for the things I got for my birthday. A lot of people did art for me, which was like amazing and some of it was really good. I'll put some of it on screen now. Like, it's just amazing to think that people actually care about me. It's amazing. Thank you. Looks as if we've been set a little challenge. If we beat this puzzle, we get a reward. So this is from Copa, but also involves gifts from Rocco and Bernie. So the first note is check your wheat farm. We will take the notes with us just to be sure we remember where we need to go. Bed is where you sleep. Now read the first words of every paper. Read them all in order. These three don't count. Okay. So when we read all the notes, we get check under your bed. 
All right, that must be where our present is. This is actually really clever. And there it is. Oh, it looks like there's some signs down here too. What do these say? Gifts from Copa, Rocco and Bernie. Well, you found it. Hell yeah. Okay, we are in the right place then. So, let's see what's inside. Wow, okay. Um, that's a lot of useful stuff. We got... Tridents... Bows, Neverite, Diamonds, Conduit, Enchanted Books. This is great. Thank you guys so much. Because we now basically have to do nothing. Thank you. You've really saved me a job. I have basically not needed to go mining once in ages because I got loads of diamonds myself and now these guys just come and give me all this Neverite and stuff for free. This is great. And just outside the base, we got a nice compliment from Copa. Your base looks really nice. Thank you. And as I was cleaning up all of the chests from where the treasure hunt was, Meep gives me his birthday present. A pufferfish. Hell yeah, we should put this on the wall. And I believe this is the day after my birthday. After I got home, of course, because I actually went to the aquarium and it was pretty fun. But anyway, last time I was on, I, I went over to Wolfby's base to go and trade with villagers. But turns out, I'm getting a late birthday present off Rocco, Bernie and Toxic and Copa and stuff. And they're all going to give me a bunch of mending books so that literally completes me that I don't need to really do anything else now we can just focus on building this is great so me and quantum head back to our base bases which are over the other side of the map sadly the nether tunnel kind of sucks, it takes a very long time to walk through, so I think we need to make some sort of ice boat road for this place, that would be great. Here we are just walking up my mine steps to get to my main room house, all the terrible crafting tables in the wall that somebody put there, on purpose, looking at you Sam. Anyway, here is everyone, and they're here to drop us off the mending books, this is going to be great. Here we are, they're about to drop it. Also, on my travels, I did get another five small drip leaf, and my inventory is very full, so I actually can't pick up all of the mending books. So I go and place my 10 small drip leaf I've got and these things really do make the garden look better. They're such a nice decorative plant and they might be one of my favourites. So we weren't getting any sales on the axolotls at all. So I went and reduced the price to 2 gold per axolotl in a bucket, colour of your choice except for blue. And now the customers are storming it. 
So I really did have to get a lot because somebody came and bought five and then they came back and bought nine. So we have got a lot of axolotls to go catch and restock and then we should be good. So I gotta admit I did a lot off camera. I went over to Sammy's and Quantum's base and I got myself really good enchants on basically all my gear then I went and put the mending on all of them so now we have Riptide Tridents, Mending Elytra, Full Neverite Mending Gear we have everything we could ever need this is great and also I've been working on the base on the ground so I'll show you that just now So what I've worked on down here is this new room, and in this room we have a kelp farm. Now what this does is basically, when it's filled up, we just get tons and tons of XP. It's basically easy mending, which is going to be very helpful. And also, I have two shulkers just there. Thanks to Quantum, he gave me some shulker shells. And also, the dripstone farm is now working, we just need to fill it completely with pointed dripstone. Thank you all so much for watching and also a massive thank you to everyone that did something for me for my birthday. I really appreciate it. I love you all. See you later.